So let's talk about one more clinical correlation. This is called Frey syndrome or gustatory sweating. Some people might also know it under the term of auriculotemporal syndrome. And so this is something that can occur in people who've had a prodidectomy. Um, as a side note, about 80% of the salivary gland tumors are going to be parotid tumors. Okay, so if you excise the parotid gland, well, you still have the fibers that used to innervate it, right? So you have secretor motor fibers that had been going to the parotid gland that do not have a target anymore. So these fibers are then going to search new targets and these will be sweat glands. So someone who is eating something who will be suffering from Frey syndrome or gustatory sweating that actually enables you better to tell what this is going to entail. Well, someone who will eat after a prodidectomy might start sweating on the side of the face. Yeah? Because now instead of the parotid gland secreting saliva as a response to eating, we have the sweat glands being activated. So when the patient eats, you will see beads of perspiration appearing directly on the skin over the surface of where the gland used to be. So upon gustatory stimulation, there's localized sweating right there. Okay, and some people, uh, it can be quite annoying. And although this condition is fairly rare, uh, the problem could have an impact on the quality of life. For example, restricting the normal activities such as eating in public. Uh, many methods are currently used to treat it. That will include, for instance, topical application of anticholinergic agents and antiperspirants. Or you could uh, do an intradermal so injection into the skin of Botox.